So I was sitting in class the other day minding my own business and not paying attention, of course, and playing with my fidget spinner. I was rocking these awesome moves, and let me tell you, the guy on the left was totally into it and checking me out. Anyways, and then my teacher was all like, Hey, Natalie. And then she slowly points at the sign in class that says, No fidget spinners allowed. So she's walking up to me with this trash in her hand, ready to take my fidget spinner with this evil smile. And just as my heart is about to drop, it doesn't, because I realize I don't even have a fidget spinner. It's just makeup and candy. I'm gonna show you two fun DIYs to get away with having a fidget spinner in class. One is candy in case you get hungry and you need to sneak some food in class. And the other one is makeup in case you gotta touch up, girl or boy. Wait, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get this video to 100,000 thumbs up. I'm gonna challenge you guys to give this video a thumbs up with a hand that you don't write with. Comment below if you are able to do it by commenting, done. Subscribe and turn notifications on to be automatically entered into my MacBook giveaway. For bonus entries or rules on how to enter, click the link in the description. For this candy fidget spinner, you're gonna get all of your favorite candies and comment below which is yours. I personally love Twizzlers. Then you're gonna need any highly pigmented lipsticks that you don't mind ruining. And of course, you're gonna need some fidget spinners. Then what you're gonna do is take apart your fidget spinner. Oh, poor fidget spinner, you done me well. And each fidget spinner is different, so you may need a tool to help you pop the centers off. And with a little bit of force, just pop off the center pieces. Then using this stuff called Easy Mold, you're gonna mix the white and the purple evenly. And then using this Easy Mold putty, press the fidget spinner down to create the mold. Now make sure to work fast with this putty because it starts to get hard after three minutes. You're gonna leave the fidget spinner in the putty for about 25 minutes and then you can remove it and now you have a mold to work out of. For this very first fidget spinner, we're gonna be making this out of candy and makeup, the best of both worlds. So you're gonna start off by using any candy. I'm gonna be using Starburst to create this fidget spinner. And you're basically just gonna dump them into a little container and add all of your pigmented lipsticks. Then you're gonna pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds or until it's nice and melted and then just pour in your colors into the mold and you're gonna refrigerate it for about 15 minutes or until it becomes a solid. Now, when you take out the lipstick, it will break and that's certain, but no worries, here is a hack to help you fix any broken lipstick. So simply piece it together and then what you're gonna do is using a lighter or any form of heat, melt the lipstick in the broken area. So this will automatically seal itself back up and ta-da, no more broken lipstick. I would recommend for you to carry this in a container because it can get a little bit messy and I also decided to add some sparkle to my school days with this glitter. This next fidget spinner is made completely out of candy. We're talking Sour Patch Kids. So for this one, just melt some Sour Patch Kids for about 30 seconds and you're gonna notice that each individual Sour Patch lets out two different colors. Then you're gonna repeat the same process, refrigerate it until it's a solid and pop it out and ta-da, you have yourself something to chew on in class in case you are hungry. And this fidget spinner does work. All you have to do is insert the spinner right through the candy and it will work just fine. This very last fidget spinner is made completely out of gum. Yum, it tastes great and it spins. So for this DIY, all you're gonna need is to microwave some gum, which is nasty. All the sugar becomes liquidy, so when you pour it into the mold, it's a bit gross. But the good thing is once it's refrigerated and it becomes a solid, it looks beautiful. And you can just pop it out, insert the spinner into the new fidget spinner, and have fun spinning your fidget spinner gum in class. Congratulations to Donna for being the outlet spotlight. If you want to be featured in my next video, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, turn notifications on, and I might even pick you. Check out my last video right here, and don't forget to live weird or die normal. I'll see you next time. Bye! Uh, uh, uh. Ugh. No, it's so yeah. My boss, it would be like normal. I'm gonna slow down. It's too close, man. Go, 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 it's kind go, of go, intimidating. Go, go, go.